star six, and you're gone. Jay, there you are. And Jay is going to push the recording now. So go ahead and star six yourself. And uh, when we're done with the call, for you to be able to say goodbye to everybody, you can star six yourself again to come back in. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Again, as I said, welcome to the call. It is great to have all of you here tonight. And um, I am looking forward to, to all of you hearing the Something Right presentation um, that you're going to hear tonight is, is just going to be blow your mind. Um, the person that, that is here tonight to speak to you, I am just thrilled to be able to uh, introduce this person tonight. He has been an inspiration to many. He has a heart of helping people. He actually, uh, he, had a, he was working for a company and realized that he wasn't getting what he was looking for. And he ended up starting his own business out of that. And through that, he realized the time that he was not having with his family, he started uh, a company with his family. And that company that he started with his family was helping people start their own business. And he has just, he has a heart. He wrote a couple, he's already written a couple books on how to build businesses. Um, he's a pastor. So his heart is really to help people. And, and so I, I just pray that you will really hear and listen and have an open mind to what he has to say because he, he really is, you will hear it in what he says, his heart for helping you truly make a change in your life. It will be a life-changing experience if, if you have an open heart and open mind to hear what it is that he has to say tonight. So I am very privileged to introduce the man of my life, my husband, Jay Small. Well, thank you, hon. That's, uh, that's a lot to live up to, but uh, I, hope, uh, I hope tonight that, that we can kind of explore some things together and uh, as a group and, and maybe uh, open, open some ideas and uh, uh, channels in our, in our thoughts that uh, may not have been there before. You know, uh, I'm, uh, I'm privileged and honored to, uh, to be able to share this information with you. And as, as my wife said, uh, you know, I, am, uh, I do own my own company. I've been involved with business for, for many years and I've looked for avenues of the best way that I can help people uh, get what they want. And uh, we truly believe, Ange and I, that we have found our best shot and what we believe is everyone else's best shot at living the life that they've always wanted. You know, uh, one of the reasons that I'm here tonight, or the reason that I'm here tonight speaking with you, is right here. Because of, because of my family, and we've actually added one more, thank you, Lord, uh, Maisie Jean was born uh, about three and a half weeks ago, and uh, we need to add her into this into this group of uh, awesome, awesome children that uh, the Lord has blessed us with. Well, my name is Jay Small. I'm the the father of this of this crew, and this is my lovely wife Angela. And uh, this is the reason that we do what we do. We want to help our family uh, grow and. Uh, and prosper, and then we also want to help other families grow and prosper. So what we're going to talk tonight about is, is a company called Life Leadership. And Life Leadership has positioned itself as the premier company in the information age delivering life-changing information in these eight categories that you see here. Faith, family, finances, fitness, following, freedom, friends, and fun. Now, the founders of the company have taken these, have separated our lives into these eight categories that they felt encompassed every aspect of our lives. And I can't think of anything that they've missed. You know, we'll joke around and talk about other Fs like uh, fishing and firearms and uh, other food. But, you know, those, those really still fall within these uh, eight areas. You know, following... Uh, uh, we use the word following to represent leadership, and if you really think about leadership, uh, I was always used to the dictator-type leadership of the boss 
telling the employee what to do. But we're actually talking more of a biblical type uh, leadership model where you follow the leader. You know, if you're if you think you're a leader and there's no one following you, then then you're really just out for a long walk. Uh, but you know, the, the biblical model was you know showed the, a man that that had a message and that he shared with twelve people that shared with uh, other twelve and you know grew into uh, you know to this day that message is still being spread across the 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 world. So that's the kind of leadership that we're talking about here is is being able to have people follow you because one you're going somewhere you know where you're going and Two that that you are a blessing and and a and a an inspiration and and bring value to other people's lives. So, you know, for for me and my wife, uh, there's all of these eight areas we can we can improve in. But the what we're going to concentrate on tonight is what I what I know to be the number one issue in America and not just America across the world. Uh, the the number one problem that all of us face on a daily basis is is in our finances. Now, when I say all of us, I'm going to say the majority of us. Uh, in fact, here we'll we'll talk here in a little bit. Probably about 95% of us are struggling, or maybe not even struggling, but are dictated by our finances. You know, think about today. What what have you done today that that finances weren't involved in a decision in one way or another. You know, the clothes that I put on this morning were bought based on how much money I had at the time to spend on those clothes. You know, the, the car I drove to work uh, was dictated by what I could afford in a vehicle at that time. Uh, the house that I lived in and slept in, the bed that I slept everything that, that we do is, is dictated by finances. Uh, we, we make choices based on how much available finances we have at the time. So what we want to talk about tonight is going to be a little bit different concept of what if finances were not an issue anymore? What if your choices were based on what you wanted, when you wanted it, uh, and the finance part didn't matter? Where you could buy the car that you wanted, where you could own the house that you wanted, wear the clothes that you wanted, eat the food that you wanted, and money was always there. Now, that may sound a little materialistic, and I hope to explain that, that that's not our intent at all. Our intent is that we can remove finances as an obstacle or a barrier in our lives so that we then can pursue what we are called to do, what our purpose is, what our passion is. You know, if finances weren't an, an issue in my life, then I would be out uh, sharing, sharing my faith with, with multitudes. But I, I'm not able to do that right now because I have to provide for the children and the family that God's given me. Uh, so, you know, we, we, we are limited in, in our passion of what we can do when finances dictate our, our daily routines. So, you know, think about that with... Uh, with fitness and, and family, you know, if you could spend uh, more time with your family, would I'm sure everyone on this call would do that. You know, if you didn't have to go to work uh, to earn that income, you know, you're going to spend more time doing the things that you want to do. And that's what we want to explore tonight is life leadership not only provides information that helps us grow in every one of these eight areas, it also provides an income where we can be totally financially free. So let's dig into this. Uh, a few years ago, a man named Robert Kiyosaki wrote a book called The Cash Flow Quadrant. And in this book, he laid out these four quadrants. So he said in the four quadrants, you have employees, you know, people that have a job. You have self-employed, which is the category I fall into now, someone that owns a job. And the B-type business owner, someone that owns a business system, and then the investors, where, where you can make money work, work for you. Now, on the left side of this quadrant is where 95% of the population resides. And on the right side, of course, would be the other 5%. And that's why I said that 95% of us are 
deal with money in the way that I described earlier as, as money dictating us, not us dictating our money. Now, why, why are we employees and why are we self-employed? Because that's the model that's been taught since the early 1900s, back in the beginning of the industrial age. And I'm not knocking that. All I'm saying is that those things, what other things that were developed in the 1900s do we see that are around today? Not very many, except this model of get a, get a good job, you know, find a company, get a good job, get a good education, and then that will dictate your lifestyle. Um, you know, back in the day when in the early 1900s and, and on through the industrial age, that worked well for people. That worked well for a lot of people. But in today's information age, you know, uh, the, the industrial age is gone, and the best evidence of that was, was Detroit, Michigan filing for bankruptcy. In my mind, probably the capital of the industrial age. Uh, you know, what worked then isn't working today. You know, we have many, many, 95% of us, struggle from paycheck to paycheck. You know, uh, one of the things that, that we look at in the, in the financial uh, arena that the founders of the company and the leaders in this company uh, try to measure finances by is how long can you survive without, without any more in, incoming income? <laughs> incoming income, yeah. And they measure it in months and years where some of us, like me, would measure that in Hours and minutes, even. Uh, but realistically, I you know, not months. It's 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 month to month to month. And you know, after being in business for 30 years and still still having to live by that month to month mentality, that says a lot about where our economy is. It may say a little bit about what what we're putting implement now into new financial practices. But I know the majority of people that I talk to. Everyone lives that way, that there seems to be more month than money, and we want to flip that around and make there be more money than month. So 95% of us on the left side of this quadrant, well, we only, we only keep 5% of the wealth. And the other, the 5% on the right side of the quadrant, they get 95% of the wealth. And at first, when I first heard this, it, it, it bothered me. I didn't think that could be good numbers until I realized and sat down and looked at where all my income goes. Back out to business systems, to, to power companies, and to cell phone companies, and to mortgage companies, and you know, just all the people on the right side and this B-type business owner have figured out that they can earn income without having to put in the sweat equity. Over here on the left side, you're, 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 you're it's all about you, and it's all about how you perform. And, you know, we learn words like uh, spend and save. And, and on the right side, a different type of thinking. The only thing that separates us from getting to this side, from the left side to the right side, is our thinking. How we were taught and, and what, what we have believed to be true, we can alter that and, and think like people that, that are on the right side of this quadrant. And we're going to investigate that here a little bit deeper. But we basically talk about the left side of the quadrant being active income or carrying buckets to fill a well on a daily basis or a weekly basis. You carry the buckets through the week and at the end of the week you get paid for it versus a pipeline income where you build over time, you, you lay down this pipe to the well and then once the pipe is completed, you turn that pipe you, you open that valve and, and the water starts flowing into the well or the money starts coming in on a consistent, repeatable basis. That's what a B-type business is. And, you know, you can think of the, the most successful B-type business out there model to think about is the McDonald's and McDonald's franchising. Now, there's a lot of other franchises that, that have modeled off of McDonald's, but think about McDonald's. You know, it takes like $2.2 million <laughs> For McDonald's to even consider you to to owning one of their franchises, and before they'll do the feasibility studies or anything, but once the reason they can charge that much is because they know you know repeatedly this system works and here's how here's your return on investment three to four to five years whatever it is, 
that money is going to come back to you. So therefore, they can up front say, this is what it takes to get started, and then uh, you, know, you will, will return this investment. I don't know too many McDonald owners. You know, if you go into McDonald's, your local McDonald's tomorrow, and say, can I speak to the owner, very rarely are you going to ever know, you know, the employee is even going to know who that is. But uh, very, in some circumstances, in, in the town I'm in right now, there, I do know people that know that owner. But he's out of town more than he's in town, I can tell you that. And uh, he's out doing what he wants to do because he's built something that, that created an income. And he actually not only built one business, one McDonald's franchise, he has others. So, uh, and, and one of the things I'm sure that we could ask this gentleman that I know that owns a McDonald's is, did you plan on owning and becoming a, uh, a Mc, did you plan on owning a McDonald's because you love the food? And he's going to definitely say no. McDonald's provides a service, a convenient, repeatable, you know what you're going to get, convenience, you know, everything. It's not the best hamburger. We could all make the better hamburger. But he'll tell you that he bought that franchise because he knew what he wanted. Now, most of us, back to that 95% thinking or the 1900-type thinking, is we were always told to go figure out what you want to do, then go to school, learn all you can about it, get a good job, and then that's going to define your income. But people on the right side of that quadrant, in that B-type business arena, they think differently than that. They think exactly opposite. They define what they want first, then learn from others who have what they want, and then simply do what they have done, what those people have done, and then they'll get what those people have, which is what they wanted. <laughs> so hopefully I said that right and it came out okay. Um, but this guy, my friend that owns this McDonald's, I'm sure that the reason he pursued that is he went and talked to other people or researched from other people that own McDonald's and found out that they had some of these things in this circle. And these, these six things in this circle that, uh, that are on this slide are representative of what we find most of the people that we talk to really and truly want out of their lives. Now, I can't decide for you what you want. That's a decision that you have to make. All I can tell you is how important it is to know what you want. Know, define it, write it down. You know, uh, a goal or a dream not written down, it, it's, it's a pipe dream. It's a fantasy. You know, you can't even begin, you know, if, you're, <laughs> if, you're, if you have a destination in mind, but you don't even know, you know, you've got a car, you've got a vehicle, and you just get in that car and start driving without a destination defined, yeah, wherever you end up is where you end up, right? Any, if you don't know where you're going, any train will get you there. Any, any car will get you there. So what we, what we tell people is no matter what you're doing, whether you're involved with life leadership or not, you need to clearly know what it is that you're after, whether it's uh, personal, uh, personal development, you know, if you want to lose weight, if uh, – if you want to become a, a long-distance runner, run marathon, I mean, there's so many things that, that people do that, that those that accomplish the things that they want to do, I guarantee you have written them down, have, have come up with a game plan, have drawn out on a map <laughs> where they want to go. So some of the things that, that we've found that most people that will drive them is time. You know, how, how can – back on that uh, – on this quadrant, we trade time for money over here, right? So how many people would like to buy back their time? You know, as, as an employee, we trade our time, for, our, uh, our time for money, and they dictate how much we're worth. As a self-employed person, we trade more time, for, hopefully for a little bit more money, but not always. Sometimes that S stands for stress, and believe me, and, uh, that can happen rather quickly. But the B-type system owner, they, they, don't, they trade time now and build that pipe now to where the work that's done today will last and get paid on forever. How many people would not want to be debt-free? I think everyone in America wants to be debt-free. It's biblical to be debt-free. So, uh, you know, getting out of debt means that you do not owe 
You are not subject to anyone. You know, spending more time with family and, and being around family and being able to support family when uh, when times are, are, you know, if there's issues that come up. Uh, a good friend of mine today is it had to take off of work and uh, take one of his vacation days, sick days, whatever, to uh, to be part of a, a family event. You know, there was a death in the family, and he had to be there. How how awesome would it be if you could be able to go and help family and not have to worry about checking in with a job, having to check your sick days, blah, blah, all that stuff. Security. I, I mentioned it a little bit earlier that, you know, we measure in life leadership, we talk about stacking up chips, stacking up income that will will carry you through. If, if the pipeline was cut off, then you could then last, you know, not for months, but for years. And uh, travel, you know, see the world, go places. My wife and I, we, we homeschool our children. I should say my wife uh, <laughs> does the majority of the homeschooling. But instead of talking about the Grand Canyon, the Eiffel Tower, the the Empire State Building, you know, and, and going and looking them up online, which, you know, having the Internet is great, and being able to show pictures and videos and blah, but to take them to those places, how awesome would that be? Today, today, our our trip is to uh, uh, the Painted Desert in Arizona. Get on a plane, there we are. Uh, should would be so awesome to be able to, to school the kids that way, and then church and charity, which is where where my passion lies, to be able to to help people that need help, and uh, to help churches and and you know organizations that are. Constantly, you see places looking and needing money for this and that project, and they're all more than more than honorable uh, intentions. There, you know that the thing that that stirs my heart is there's enough good people in this world that that if we all band together, uh, good good will become the norm again, not uh, not what we've seen it come to. But anyhow, I'm going to start preaching to you, and I don't want to do that. But know what you want. Find people that have what you want and then simply learn from them what they've done and you go do it. That's as simple as it gets. One plus one equals two every time. Back in 1999, the founders of this company went and heard a talk that Michael Dell did, uh, and he was ushering in the information age. And Michael talked about these three main components of a company that would uh, thrive and be be the premier company in the information age if they could conquer and and become excellent in these three things that we call the Michael Dell's three C's. That's content, commerce, and community. Well, we feel that life leadership has conquered, has perfected all three of these, and our products our products are life changing. We have what we feel is the best information out there. Not saying that there is another great information, but our information is done by people that have the fruit on the tree, that have walked down a road in a in a particular area and and achieved the success and the and the results that the person that would want that any person would want to achieve and they've just basically laid out how they've done that. You know, we have our life series, our ed series, the Freedom Series, the AGO Series, and the Launching a Leadership Revolution Series. All of these world-class development programs that we get in the form of subscriptions once a month that's delivered to our door that helps us become the people that we, the better people that we, we want to become in all of these different eight areas. You know, these series, uh, they're award-winning. The Ed Series, you know, is directed towards the, the youth of America, the only company I know of that is even attempting to put truth principles back into uh, our children, uh, the Freedom Series, the AGO Series, all of these just get back with the person that invited you on this call to, uh, to learn more about our products, but I'm telling you they are life-changing. We have people that have testimony after testimony of people who have taken the information that we have and have made radical changes in their lives. 
one of the re things that the company has done that I believe shows their integrity is that they've come up with this three for free program to where people that on a, on a tighter budget can actually get their products for free just by sharing the information with, with others. So uh, just an incredible program. Again, get back with the person that invited you on this uh, presentation and uh, they can fill you in on our awesome award-winning products. So where does the money come from? Well, obviously, you know, for, for us to talk about a financial uh, uh, benefits, there has to be money involved. And that comes from our life-changing products in the form of subscriptions. But real, a real quick way to, to see it is if you think about Walmart and what happened there with Sam Walton, you know, he eliminated a couple of wholesalers and became one of the richest men in, in the world. And he, he did that by knocking out these two guys and taking their share of the profit of their share of, of, a, of a cost of a product and putting it back into, into his pocket. So if a, if a manufacturer, it costs about you know, a dollar to manufacture a product, and at the end it costs $10 at the store, all these people have, have added, not value, just added cost to that product. Well, what we decided to do was take the Amazon approach where Amazon said, you know what, if Sam can make a whole lot of money uh, eliminating two, let's get rid of all of them. You know, you buy a book on Amazon just a little bit cheaper than somewhere else, where do you think all that profit goes? That goes right back to Amazon. Well, we said, let's take 70% of that $10 in my previous example. Let's take $7 of that and put it back into a compensation engine that we pay back to the people that are moving the most product. And, uh, and we do that time and time again through subscriptions of building teams of people that are on our life-changing products that all share in that profit. Now we call this the team approach. And in a nutshell, what happens is if you were to get involved with us, then you would come into this uh, line of people and over time, we're going we're gonna to work together as a team and find other people who want to change their lives, who want to become better husbands, better fathers, uh, looking to make money not an issue in their life, and they're going to fall in into your business. And you may not have, you're, you probably don't know any of them. And over time, this volume of us all subscribing to subscriptions is generated and passed up from this line up onto a compensation uh, matrix. And again, you can get back with the person that invited you on this call, but I'm telling you, this is life-changing incomes also. You contribute some, and over time, we build this huge, massive team together where everyone achieves more. That's why we call it the team approach. Once you've done that and learned in how to be proficient at that, you start building the second team. And, uh, you know, Randy and Jill, Sandy and Rick, they all have twins, I guess, and you build this second team where, where you start affecting hundreds and hundreds of people's lives with this information. Um, over time, you can create an income of building a team of 13 people in the first, first apprentice leg and seven people in the second one. Uh, you're going you're gonna to earn around $1,100 a month. And over time, because you've involved people with uh, in this process, they start talking to others. You can't stop the momentum. The 13 is going to change to 33, the 7 to 17, and you're going to make around $3,500 a month. You know, now $3,500 a month figures out to somewhere around $40,000, $45,000 a year. You know, that's just some significant income for some people. That starts letting them be financially free. But once you're at that point, and this just continues to build as you share it with more and more people and start other teams, you're going to get into incomes that is, is $7,700 a month. That sets most people free financially. That's what's available here, and this is just the start of the incomes. Uh, we have an income disclosure sheet here that, that you know, you can pick a number on this, on this. This is actual income that was earned last year between uh, May 12th and January 13th 
or January 2013 to May 2012, uh, this income, you know, pick a number on here. What's financial freedom to you? Fifteen thousand dollars a month if you're if you reach the coordinator level, you know, the uh, senior coordinator. You know, the the numbers are astronomical of of the kind of income that you can earn here. But pick a number, get back with the person that invited you, and set up a game plan. Remember how we talked about uh, not having, knowing a destination? Pick a destination right here. You know, starting in July, these, these incomes on this cab are going to be guaranteed to where if you've built those significant incomes, there's that $7,700 a month that we looked at, you know, $3,700 of that is guaranteed every month, and then the rest of the compensation plan kicks in the extra. The money's here, folks. You know, we're only looking at the senior coordinator and, and five team level making $480,000 a year. Uh, I don't know how anyone can't say that that isn't financial freedom. If, uh, if you learn how to budget and how to invest, you know, that other quadrant, that one we didn't talk about, that, that's where the investing side comes in once you have some kind of a pipeline built that you can just build over and over and create a legacy uh, that will not only affect the next generation, but generations to come after that. So this is real income. This is happening right now. There's people out there doing it. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the incentive trips. Uh, you get this $1,100 a month uh, level and hold that for six months, the company's going to reward you with a trip. Uh, just another added bonus. Uh, you know, you can pick whether you go on a cruise to Jamaica, Costa Rica, uh, or the, or, oh, I said, uh, Walt Disney World. Sorry, I'm trying to miss that one. So there's the opportunity that it lies. But if you just, you know, if, if this income side doesn't, doesn't, isn't what you're looking for, but you want significant changes in your life in, those, uh, in these eight areas, become a customer. You know, sample our products because those alone, you know, we, we say that we've helped marriages get better. We've helped relationships, you know, old friends become old separated friends become new joined friends, uh, better parents, better children. You know, how do you put a price tag on that? You can't. So the last thing that I want to talk about here is our community. You know, we have the commerce, we have the compensation, we have the product, but what really holds this company and sets us apart is a community, a community of committed, uh, highly committed, highly motivated people that, that gather together and help one another create the lives that we have all have always wanted. You know, Part of the community is this training system where, you know, some of the things that I thought about when I first saw this was, you know, I don't, I'm not a salesperson. I don't really know anybody. You know, all these excuses definitely didn't have time because I was, I'm working 60, 70 hours a, a week. Uh, but what it really boils down to, any of these other uh, excuses <laughs> really boils down to this one. I just don't think I can do that. And that's where our training system comes in. We have, just as people go to McDonald's University, Hamburger University to learn how to make those world-class hamburgers, uh, we have a life training system that does create world-class people. So we've got a program that, uh, that can conquer any excuses. You know, I, I, I've was told this bluntly by a gentleman a long time ago. You can make excuses or you can make money, but you can't do both. You know, in, in these eight areas, you know, I, I, can, I can lose weight or I can make excuses, but I can't do both. I can have friends or I can make excuses, but I can't do both. You know, it works in anywhere. Excuses are just tools of the incompetent used to build monuments of nothingness. It's a quote that I love and have kept... Uh, kept in my mind for forever. Anytime I feel like giving up, anytime I feel like not doing what's, what's required of me to do to get to that destination, I remember that I cannot make excuses if I want to get the goal that I want. So our system takes advantage of these uh, 
these powerful uh, uh, principles of duplication, of franchising. We're looking for long-term success. We're not looking for get rich quick. Um, and we are in the business of helping people grow personally with our information, with our life training, with the association of, of the community. Uh, life leadership has all of these things combined together to create the life that we've always wanted. So what do you do? You hold your spot for basically 100 bucks, maybe you know, with some tax and shipping a little more, but at $100 to, to get your spot in that, in that line and let this community go to work for you. Um, you know, I have to say it this way, you know, it, it's, does 100 bucks hold you back from having the life that you've always wanted, from being able to, to earn a trip, to, to, to having the shot, the best shot, at being financially free, uh, at 100 bucks in the tank, is, you know, it goes in the gas tank real quick. I've, I've wasted more than $100 on any given Friday night. I, I applaud you for being here on this call this evening, uh, and that tells me that you're passionate about your future and that, that you're committed to yourself, and that's a rare commodity these days, so congratulations to you for that. What does that $100 get you? It gets you... Uh, an introductory life book and a CD. Most importantly, it gets you two tickets to the next Life Live event, which is for us in this area will be in St. Louis, uh, Missouri, or actually in Carlinville, Illinois, just on the other side of the river on May 10th. And we're going to hear from uh, a couple of people from Canada, yes, from Canada, who have put this business together and are making those life-changing, financially free type incomes. And they're going to show us how to do that. You get 30 days of our, of our online, uh, you get a website with it, and you get your uh, 30 days free of the Life Library, and 30 days free if you have a smartphone of our Lifeline application, where you hear on a daily basis people that are out there getting this business built. So that's our system. Uh, what do you do next? Hold your spot. Become a Life member or a customer. Attend the next meeting. May 10th uh, is, the, is our seminar. I highly suggest you get there. If you're in a different area of the country, get back with the person that invited you on this, uh, to this presentation, and they'll, they can find out where the closest one is for you. Um, go through the materials and take a good, hard look at what we have to offer here. You know, I'm, uh, I'm so glad that, that my wife and I, have pursued this and, and have opened our hearts and our minds to what this opportunity has to offer. And the best thing that I can do for you right now is let you hear from the lady, the love of my life, the inspiration, the one that keeps me going, the hardest working woman that I know of, and the one that has the biggest heart for people. And that's my wife, Angela Small. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jay. Um, let me get that. There, just so I don't push any buttons. Okay, my cheek was hitting both buttons, so I didn't want that to uh, end up hanging us up because I've had that happen before. <laughs> now, anyway, thank you, Jay, and and as I said earlier, guys, I I really hope you. I, I'm sure I'm sure you heard his heart. Um, you know, everything he said there is so true. I will tell you that um, when Jay was first looking at this. Uh, I wanted nothing to do with it. I will, I will be honest with you. I was, uh, we had done many businesses kind of like this before, and I'd gotten to the point where I didn't feel it was something that we could do. And so, you know, we, we started, he started his own company and was quite successful with it. And, but it was taking a lot of his time away. So I really felt that we had to start our own company as a family that would get him around us more and, and so we were we were starting to get that built, and we were starting to see some success with it uh, when he ended up getting introduced to life leadership. And so, mind you, with his already 60 to 70 hours a week that he was gone and and being called, he was on call on weekends. We didn't see him very often. Um, and then, you know, all the work that we were doing for our own business, you know, I was one of those that said we didn't have time. 
there was just no way that we had time and and I didn't want to I didn't really feel that that type of business would work for us um I didn't feel we could do it you know those those excuses that he called excuses up there I really felt that way and so when he came to me about um looking at doing this business I to say the least I was quite upset but he said something that caused me to really start thinking he asked me he says Ange, uh look at where we're at right now where will we be in another five years if we don't change what we're change what we're doing you know and, and I thought that's what we were doing by having our own business uh, as a family was that we were trying to change that and bring them home but he pointed out to me that all we were doing was adding extra hours and it wasn't just causing uh, more hours on him and me but because it was a family business our kids were starting to get busy and we were teaching them that lifestyle of being so busy that you didn't have time to to enjoy one another we didn't have time to even go on our lake in our backyard we didn't you know and it was right there in our own backyard and we couldn't go fishing we didn't have time to sit down and watch movies together anymore because that was one of our family uh, times together it was just enjoy sitting with one another with the lights off in a room and just watching movies and we didn't have time to do that anymore and he said if that's already happening now what's it going to be like in five years and so we, you know I really started realizing that it's just going to get worse so I was willing to listen I was willing to open up my myself to to check it out to hold that spot I told him we'll go ahead and hold a spot and we'll check it out and I am so glad that he helped me to see that because that family business has already been replaced We've already started to getting our time back, and it has just, it has been a blessing in our lives to have Daddy home more, to have our family together and enjoying time together more, and at the same time, we've been able to start helping others do the same thing. And if he did not help me see the big picture of what it was going to be like in five years, if he didn't help me to open my eyes, we would not be where we are today. And I am so blessed that he did. So I am asking you to just do the same thing. Think about this, $100. I know that sometimes you, you sit back and you think about your bills, and oh my gosh, $100, I could do this with it or I could do that with it. But reality is that you have, you have wasted $100 on other things. With our businesses that we were building, $100 was just jump change. There was so much more that when you build a business, and when you're talking about, like he said with McDonald's, when you're building a business, it normally costs so much money to make the income that Jay is talking about. And here, it just costs $100 for you to have the life that you've ever wanted. So think about what you want. Do you want time back? Do you want to travel? Do you need income to pay off debt? You have an opportunity here, and you can hold your spot for $100, and that $100 is even guaranteed that if in 30 days you want your money back, it's there. But I tell you, you won't want to. There, it has been life-changing for us, and it can be life-changing for you, and you have a group of people that we are here ready and willing to help make that change for you. So get back to the person that brought you to this presentation. Get more information from them. Go ahead, hold your spot, and see what life-changing situations can happen for you, for your family, and for those around you. I, again, commend you for being on this call, but most of all, I tell you, get back to that person and thank them because the only people that show up to this presentation are those that people truly believe are that have integrity and are teachable and are willing and looking and you must be a special person for them to have thought of you so thank them for inviting me to this call good night and i look forward to having a chance to meet you god bless